Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop and Lightroom. In this video, I'll be using Shake Reduction in Photoshop Mix. Let's jump in and see how it's done. Okay, first things first, let me tell you of how I've got things set up. You can see that I'm in Lightroom at the moment, and I've got a collection called Demonstration Images with just this one image in it, and this is the image that I'm going to use in Photoshop Mix. Now, reason why that is important will become evident a little bit later on, but for those that understand what I'm doing, you can see from this little icon here that this is currently being synced with Lightroom Mobile. Okay, let's jump into the iPad, and you can see that I've got Photoshop Mix here. All I've got to do is tap on that, and it opens up. Now, this is only available on iPads, I'm afraid. Android people will not be able to use this application. Now, straight off the bat, we get these little projects, and these come shipped with the application. So let's load in our own image. I just tap the cross there, and up they come. Now, these are images that are currently on my iPad. Now, you remember that I showed you just a little while ago that I had an image synced through Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile. And I can click on the Lightroom tab here, and sure enough, up come demonstration images. And if I tap on that, up comes my picture of the boots. So let's click on that one and load it in. There we go. There's lots we can do here, but all I want to do is just add a little bit of an effect and reduce the shake. So I'm going to tap on More Edits, and then I get three choices. Upright, Shake Reduction, and Content Aware Fill, and we'll look at two of those at a later date. Today, we're just looking at Shake Reduction, so I'm going to tap on the middle one there. Now, it tells me that it's going to connect to the Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, this can be a free account. That's not a problem. So what it's doing here is it's uploading the image to the Creative Cloud. It's then going to apply the Shake Reduction and then show me the results. The processing power needed to do this is just not available on this mobile device. OK, takes a little while, but it'll be here in just a second. All right, once it's there, here we go. We've got three options plus our original, and it's applied to different amounts of shake reduction. So at the moment, you can see my original. Here's number one, number two, and number three. Now, for me, number two is way too much. Number three, I can't really see much difference. Let's go the original and then three. But number one is really where I want to be. All I have to do then is just tap on the tick. And that's now applied. And I can carry on working. I'm going to tap on looks. And these little filters, much you get in different iOS apps. And I can just scooch along till I find the one I want. In my case, it's sepia. Tap on that. Now I'm being told that I can use this selectively. OK, thank you very much. I don't want to, but thank you. And then just tap the tick. Once I'm done with my image, I can add other bits and bobs in it if I wish. And again, we can look at those in a future tutorial. But once I'm done, I click on the little icon at the top here, and I can save to Photoshop. And this will save it as a PSD file to the Creative Cloud. I can save to my camera roll. I can get feedback by putting it on Behance. And more options is the usual iOS saving options. Let's go back again, and I'm going to save to Photoshop. And once again, it connects to the Creative Cloud and saves it there as a PSD, so that I can use it later in Photoshop. And it's as easy as that. Some amazing power right here on my mobile device. I can be anywhere I like. As long as I've got an internet connection, I can do this on the train, in a taxi, or sitting in the back garden selling myself. Thank you very much for joining me here. I hope to see you again soon. Till then, bye-bye for now.